So for this issue of the Creators Unlock newsletter, I thought, you know, I'll just show you the different six styles of content that I create. It seems like people get pretty excited uh, about learning uh, how to do content, which is something to get excited about because without it, people aren't going to know what it is that you do <laughs> or how you can help them or anything. So I want to share with you the six different styles and just keep it simple here. You should be able to pull a lot away from this. Now, the software that I'm going to talk about uh, in here and different things, you don't have to use the exact one that I use. I just use these, these ones because they're the easiest and they're the quickest and they're the best for me to work with. So you can do it however you want, okay? Now, um, this little program I'm using right now, people ask me a lot. It's just called Loom, okay? I don't, e <laughs> I don't even have it on here, but it's, it's called Loom, okay? So I can put a link to that down in the description. Sorry, I was like choking. Um, but it's really cool. You can draw with it and everything. Um, but I'll share everything that, <clears throat> that I'm doing here. Sorry. So this, this whole thing that you see here, uh, this is a program inside of that I put inside a build lab. It's called the uh, content flywheel. And I just teach you know everything that I know about content and what to do with it and how to how to make it really good and then down here um, you know I literally go over everything uh, that you need and that you, that I use so you can just model it and get it done fast right so these are the six different styles of content that I do so by the end of this year you should have either uh, confirmed the style that you're doing or you, you have more ways to create content Okay, and in my brain, it's just how do we turn one thing into many things and how do we come at it from as many different perspectives as possible? So this one here, uh, the whiteboard, this one is probably, uh, I would say, you know, of all of them, people love this one the most where I just get on the whiteboard and I explain, you know, something about internet business or whatever, whether it's how to make digital products or whatever. So this pad down here, I'll draw on that thing too. And then I just video it and people love it. They learn from it. You know, I think it's, there's a, there's a part of like adventure, I guess with it. Cause you don't really know what's going to happen or, you know, it's, it's more authentic. It's not just, um, you know, it's not just a slideshow, although slideshows are great too. Okay. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. Uh, I, I, I get people all the time. They're like, well, I think you could do it this way. I'm like, well, I think you're right. <laughs> you could, you know, you could do it a lot of different ways. The thing is, is you just want to publish every day. Okay. So this little gadget that I got here, this is just a, a tripod. Uh, and then I've got a, a long 10 foot power cord that goes up to it. And then I clip my phone in here. And then I have this little ball head and a mirror. So I can use the good cameras on my phone. Okay, so um, yeah, so then I can see the screen on the other side because obviously you wouldn't be able to see the screen, but this makes for a really good uh, camera holder. But this right here, you, you, you don't want to go skimpy on these. I mean, you get what you got to get, but you know, get a decent one. Here's this is the uh, this is the whole tripod. It, it adjusts in a lot of di like it has another thing that'll open up here. And this goes, I'm six foot two, and this thing can tower over me. So, uh, which is good though, because sometimes, <clears throat> you know, if you're traveling or you're doing different things, you, this thing, there's not a way in hell you're not going to get the angle you want. Because with that ball head and this thing being able to adjust these legs, I mean, this this company here, I've bought in a, several tripods from them. Joel can, they do a pretty good job. And it's not even that much. It's like 150 bucks or something but it's a great tool. So that's one thing you can do. Get in front of a board if you're like, you know, if you can do that, get in front of it and do it. People love it and you can make it long and short and chop it up how you need it. That's one thing I like about it, okay? This loom thing, you see how cool this is? How I can just move my head around. Um, we can go over here to this next one, you know? Uh, and then you can also blow it up so that you have full screen like this. Now it is a little delayed, but um, like you see, it's like a Chinese, 
Chinese film, sort of. It's not that bad, though. Nobody's ever been like, oh, I can't stand it. As long as it sounds good, which brings me to this next thing here. So this is probably the second most uh, desired thing that people get from me. Like, I can just see in the stats, like, anytime I do a video on Miro, which that's the logo for them right here. Now, I use Mac with everything just because I love how you can airdrop everything, and it, it just makes getting the media onto the internet really easy okay um just a macbook pro and then i just hook it up to the stuff i'll show you here in a second well you can kind of see it in this video uh but screen flow and like cap cut like all these things work really seamlessly with um with apple now i've never used the other stuff i mean i've used a little bit but it just didn't wiggle the way i like it um and I just feel like there's less steps with Mac. But anyway, I'm not here to do that. I'm saying <laughs> um, I just want you to know what I use. So right now I'm talking to you through this camera. And I'm being, you're hearing me through this Sure mic. I go over all the equipment in Build Lab. I can't get into all that here. We'll be here forever. But, uh, you know, when you join Build Lab, it's like it's 97 bucks a month. Or you can join Lifetime for $597. So... Um, I don't know how long I'll keep the lifetime on there, but it's what we're doing for now. Um, but you know, you can get in there and if you refer to people to it, your membership is free each month that you have your members, you know, uh, I give you 50% on an affiliate thing with that, but, um, you instantly have a, a monthly recurring residual digital product that you can sell. <laughs> But inside of there, it's like the cost of one of these each day. That's how I priced it. It's like the cost of an energy drink each day. I'm like, well, people spend money on energy drinks each day, but they don't learn how to make a six- and seven-figure internet business that sells digital products and, and monthly recurring revenue uh, paid subscription programs. So I thought, well, that's a pretty good deal. I would do that <laughs> if, if I were to go back. But this here, this Miro, you can create all these boards, okay? And... It's, it's pretty sweet because I just make all these with shapes and pictures that I find, okay? And you can, you can what I like about Miro is you can zoom way in and way out. And so you can put a lot of stuff on there. And you can, people love when you get in there and, and I'll have one of these. You can go look through my TikToks, okay? If I'll put like my, I'll use ScreenFlow and that's what I'm showing in this picture here. I use this. Uh, software here ScreenFlow and I can record my screen like I'm doing now but in ScreenFlow what I like about it is you can add you know different audio tracks you can add different um, like multicam and all this stuff it doesn't get I don't get that complicated with it I just use the same setup here but I move my video underneath it in the, in a vertical frame so 1080 by 1920, not horizontal, but vertical. And I'll put the, the slide above me in the TikTok, and then I'll use my mouse and talk about it. And people love that. And they, I mean, I've gotten so many people to sign up for Build Lab because of those types of things. And then I'll use Keynote with ScreenFlow. You see ScreenFlow on pretty much all of these because I, I, you know, if I'm on the computer, I'm recording my screen and talking. It just, what more would you want? <laughs> you know? And then there's the good old selfie mode, okay? This is Keynote. This is what I'm in right now. So I'm using Keynote, just good old-fashioned, or PowerPoint for PC users. Or Google Slides, you can use that. Or Miro. <laughs> there's so many. Um, but this is what I'm doing right now. These are all the slides that I go over in the content flywheel. I just take you through this whole deck here. Uh, it's like nine different modules. It's pretty sweet. Um, people are freaking going nuts about it. I'm probably going to make it its own product. Um, but you can create slides like this, and then you can just go through it like we're doing right now. Okay. Now, these are just pictures I took on my, my iPhone and just airdropped them to the screen. Didn't even edit them, just threw them on there. That's what it looks like. That's where I'm sitting right now. Or I'll do this one, right? I'll do the uh, selfie mode. You know, just a good old-fashioned selfie video. There's nothing wrong with those. You know, as long as you got your lighting right and you got, you know, it's quiet, doesn't sound like crazy. And then what I'll do, I'll take long form videos like this would be considered long form. It's like almost 10 minutes and I'll try to get you out of here in the next few. But 
you know, it takes a little time to talk about this stuff. Um, hope you're, hope you're enjoying it. You know, this creator's unlock, I just look at it as like each week, I'm going to drop the best I got, you know, to just help you because I want you to not struggle. I don't want you to have to take as long as I did to get this stuff figured out. And, you know, it's not really that crazy hard to, to make money online if you're just consistent and you just care about it, you know? Um, so anyhow, what I'll do is I'll take a long video here and I'll just cut out like a piece that's less than a minute long. That way I can easily share it on YouTube, Instagram, Reels, TikTok, LinkedIn, Threads, X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And I just, you know, sometimes I don't get it on all of them, but, I, you know, I just drop it all on there. And you can outsource this stuff too, the whole damn thing. And that's one of the models in Build Lab too. I, it's pillar nine. I, I go over like how to diversify the income. I show you um, also how to, you know, d the different outsourcing places you can go. I give you all the resources, what to say to them, who to look for, how to use them, um, how to repurpose different things. And then we talk just strictly about all the different chat GPT prompts and stuff. It's, 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 it's like the best I got everything. And then you get me live twice a week. Okay. Um, I'll get on Monday and Thursday just on Zoom live for a couple hours. You can just share your screen, talk to me face to face, and we can, or, you know, Zoom to Zoom, and we get the answer. So that's what we do here. You find your best little pieces and stick them out there on, on and I'll give you a really good tip here in a second. Uh, when you're doing all this, what to how, to, how to know when to make it better, right? So I'll cap cut it. I always use cap cut. Now cap cut, if you get like their paid version, which I don't know, it's like 10 bucks or something. I, I I don't know how much it is, but um, I'll put a I'll put a link down below for CapCut. But this is awesome. I mean it it basically just it transcribes your whole video pretty much almost ninety nine percent accurate. I mean it's super super accurate. I hardly ever have to go in and tweak anything, and it colors the text. And I mean it's it's perfect what you want, right? Um, and there's other softwares like Opus and stuff like that. They do a great job, but just you find the best pieces and you stick them everywhere. And then uh, um, on TikTok, then you just go live. So I do the same thing. You can see here, I'll just have my phone clipped in there. I'm using my phone at the moment, but I'll just have my phone clipped in there and I'll either point it at the board uh, or I'll clip my phone in this one and I can video any angle pretty much anywhere. That's why I use those ball head um they're the best. Everything's got a ball head on it and it's got a quick, quick link up. You see these like this right here, this little clip and this little clip, even though they're different tripods, I can take that thing off and mount it right on here. Good. And these are heavy duty. Like you could throw this at some, it, th if you threw this at the wall, it would put a hole in your wall and it wouldn't even break this thing. Like this, get stuff that's just going to last you. And it's not bad. Get on Amazon and grab it. But this here, um, this little setup is good, man. They they love when I stand in front of the board. I don't know what that is, but I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so anyhow, that's there's those are six different styles, and it's kind of all the same thing. You know, you're really just working in like this vertical format or horizontal format, right? And you're just taking something like this that you could grab in Chat GPT, put your own spin on it, you know, rub your own brain against it and, and make it you. And then you're just going to use ScreenFlow, Miro, Keynote, Loom, any of these softwares here. This is Pe Pexels. I use Notion uh, as well. And then I'll get with ChatGPT and just, you know, ChatGPT doesn't let you get hung up. It, you can just keep moving, right? So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you. Let me know uh, in the comments or reply back to any of the newsletters and, and give me some topics that you'd like me to talk about like this. And uh, I'll go crazy with you, and we can talk about it, you know, and I can show you uh, more of this stuff and, and how we how we get things done, okay? So anyway, um, look forward to hearing back from you. Hope you're digging this stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week.